yo, 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 what up, it's Kittle from Kittle's Picks, bringing you KBO Parlay of the Day slash Night NPV Parlay of the Day slash Night, you know, all the NPV, KBO, ha, run through, games, parlays, everything to try to cash out some shit and get some money, money. Uh, so we have uh, five KBO games, but one's a double header. Actually, DraftKings has it on there, but I don't think we're going to be able to parlay it together. Plus, I don't even know who's pitching in that game. I can't find out. And they only got two uh, NPB games out right now. They're missing Hanshin and Yakult. I really like uh, Hanshin, you know. They got Otaki pitching, right? So it looked like a pretty good one for Hanshin there and uh, over. Oh, but of course they don't have that. But we're gonna do like what we did yesterday. I guess we'll parlay uh six together there. They don't have any Taiwanese baseball out tonight, so all good there. Let's get back to the KBO. And yeah, hit me up in the comments, hit that like button if you're new, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when the videos drop because they're always time sensitive, obviously. Without further ado, let's start the fucking video. Alright, so first game of the night right here. We got Kia and KT. Just be careful, guys. This game's at 2 a.m. All the other ones are at 5.30 normal time. So you don't want to screw up on that one because you'll be betting on the other game. You might not even know the pitcher. So at least here we know Panini's pitching for Kia. And Bao J Siong for KT. But we're liking Kia here, man. Uh Kia's owning them lately too. They're nine and four versus KT. <clears throat> so yeah, you we'll look at Panini here. Uh against NC one and two thirds. He gave out six runs on nine twenty-eight. So what's that? Like a week ago maybe? And a week before that, he faced uh, KT, where he won five and two-thirds inning, one run. Then he went five innings to Doosan and gave up four. So, look at that. In between Doosan and NC, which were two good teams at the time, KT was in the middle, and he gave up one run there. So, not bad. And let's see. Furthermore, over here... KT, five and two-thirds, three runs, and that's it there. Let's see, Bow over here. LG, well, he gave up one run, one unearned. Seven innings shot out against Lo Chai. Uh, Samsung, four innings, three runs. SSG, five innings, five runs, but he still got the W. Kai Woom, five innings, three runs, got the loss, six and a third, five runs, a low tay. We're looking for a Kia, here we go. Five and a third, three runs, caught the loss. And then that's it for him there. But seven shutout, he's got a six shutout here against NC. So, I mean, Holmes can pitch sometimes, but. I don't think he's going to be pitching tonight too well, so, well, I don't think he'll get rocked, you know, but I think he'll, he can give up three, maybe. I think Panini is only going to give up one or two, and I think he's going to pitch pretty well today. <laughs> and the only problem with this, I got the under nine and a half here. And Kia Moneyline, if one team gets a big lead, they're not going to pitch their best pitchers, their relief pitchers, because they have a double header. So they might try to save them for the second game. But I don't know. It's a little bit difficult when there's double headers. But I'm liking the under. I'm liking a fast game under here. And uh, yeah, I like Kia first half. I like Kia full game. And under nine and a half and under five and a half. Next game. We got the LG twins and the low tay giants here. Um I took a money line, but well we'll talk about that when we get there. 
All right, pitching for LG is Casey Kelly, and pitching for Lotte is me in Buck. Um, LG hasn't been scoring that many runs lately uh, over the last five. This is why I'm going with Lotte. Lotte's been crushing the ball, man. Uh, they've been pretty good. Casey Kelly's probably going to pitch good, I think, first half here. Uh, I mean, he's got some good games there. Uh, let me think. I mean, he might get... Uh, I think I contradicted myself here, guys. I'm sorry. I like Casey Kelly to pitch good here. I'm sorry. To pitch decent in the first half. But as you can see, 6-7 six, inning, 6-6-5. Six, six, He's got an 8 inning there. Let's see. Against Lotte, he caught the W. 6 inning shutout. Lotte, 8 innings. Zero earned runs. Lotte, six innings, three runs. And Lotte, five innings, four runs. That was the beginning of the year. That don't count. Leon Bach. Um, he's uh, 32, I think, right? 32. A little more experience, you know. He got a W against LG in relief. And that's really it, but he just pitched against SSG, gave up some runs, Kia, one earn. So, I mean, yeah, it's not that great looking at Kelly and uh, Liam Bach here. But, yeah, guys, I don't know what I did, man. I contradicted myself there. Um... I'm a little iffy on this over under here now. Um, I think I hit Lotte by accident. I meant LG because I'm like, ah, oh, Casey Kelly's going to pitch good, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I think somebody came over when I was doing my sheet earlier. My father came over and fucked me all up. So, whatever. I think uh, here we got over five. I think LG put up five themselves uh, the first half. Casey Kelly, I think he's going to pitch pretty good. Um, let's see. Um, then I got LG Moneyline. And now I'm just a little bit iffy on that over under. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I like uh, the over, actually. I'm going to stay with that because I believe Lotte is pretty much fucked anyway, so... I think LG can get a big lead and uh, maybe they'll put in a chump or something to save people for tomorrow. Maybe Lotte will get some runs there. Nine and a half is not too much. Lotte scored like 40 runs in the last five games, but I think Casey Kelly will hold them to a couple, if not one or two only, you know, and Liam Bach is going to get snatched for like four or five, so... That's good there. We should be all right there. I'm going to be pissed if Lotte covers. Well, hopefully, if uh, anything, LG wins by one. No. <laughs> but, yeah, that's that, guys. My apologies on that game. I don't know what the fuck happened. Next game. We got Lil Hanwha and Samsung, man. Samsung has been pretty hot lately. Hanwha has been pretty good, too. But the only problem for Hanwha here is Ricardo Sanchez is pitching. I used to back him all the time. But he's going up against Kim Seong Jun, who is 20 years old. Really only done some relief pitching. He was round five, overall pick 43, huh? So, I mean, he hasn't really pitched that much this year. But he only goes one inning, so I don't know if it's going to be a total bullpen day or what here. And then it kind of scares me a little bit, though. And then we got Ricardo Sanchez, who hasn't had a win in a while, dude. He was on fire for a while. Now, what, four losses in a row? Look at that. He's been real shitty from down to there, guys. And before that, he was pretty much on fire. He's not giving up many runs, so three, give up zero to LG here. So he's got it in him to pitch a gem, dude. He he uh, deserves a nice game today against Samsung. 
So the way we're going to go here, Hanwha is coming off of two straight wins here. Samsung has been getting beat up by Lotte the last few games. So uh, I kind of like, uh, I like Hanwha. Minus half a run for a sing. I like over five. Over nine full game and then Hanwa on the money line. I do not like when they're favored though. That thing scares me a little bit. I'm probably gonna play the over in the parlay. And probably both overs. I just don't know what Samsung's gonna do with that pitcher, unfortunately. And yeah, that's that guys. Next thing. We got NC and SSG. Fortunately for NC, they're playing a hot SSG. SSG has three wins in a row, and they got Kim Kwang Hun pitching today. Going up against Choi Sung Young. Uh, Choi Sung Young. You know, he's been uh, not pitching too well lately. I wonder if this is going to be a game for Ku Chang to come in and pitch after. Maybe this guy will start, and then maybe a little Koo Chang tonight. I don't know. I wish I knew that, because then I'd end up playing it. But who knows, right? So last game, three runs, two and a third. Look at that. He's got a five-inning game against Samsung, one run. Where's SSG? Four and two-thirds. He gave up two runs. That's not bad. And SSG relief four innings shut out there, but that's a different story. So I don't know how long he's gonna pitch for. Kim Kwang Hun, he's been uh eh, six innings shut out against Doosan. That was a good game. Seven innings, three runs. Lotte, LG five innings, two earned. I think he's gonna pitch good, man. It's what he lives for, man. Uh, October baseball, right? Came from the majors, so he's been pitching decent. Uh, let's see against the NC right here. NC got him for one, and NC over here got him for four. But NC's been playing like shit lately, so I don't think they're gonna do anything to SSG. A lot of these teams have been playing every day, so. That's why I'm liking some overs again tonight. I like SSG minus half a run. I like over five. I like over nine. And SSG on the money line there. So that's that, guys. All right. Then our next game of the night is the 530 game, but we don't know who's pitching. Kind of got to see what happens the first game, but I'm liking Kia. And I think... I don't know. I can't really. It's kind of hard to predict now, right? I wonder how they know who's pitching, man. Let me check something over here in my computer. See if I could see if they know who's pitching that game. Nope, they know the first one. Nope. Yep, nobody knows. Darn it. I don't know how they came out with the odds for that then, but... Probably just because they think Kia is going to win again. But I think if Kia wins the first one, KT might win this one. So that's something to look out for, man. If you guys are up still, ready to bet, um, you can live bet probably KT if when Kia wins that first game. But anyways, uh, let's get to the... Nope, no far lays yet. Let's get to the NPP, guys. Hold up. All right, I'm out. Yo. We back with the NPB. So I'm trying to get my kid to do his school project. He's being a little punk, so he's doing it now. I said I was going to take his tablet away. He didn't like that. <laughs> of course not, right? But anyway, so we got only two games on here. Um, Hanshin playing Yam uh, Yakult. And it's not on here, which sucks, unfortunately. But we got a pretty good game. Both games should be pretty good, man. Uh, not too shabby there. Uh, pretty good. Decent pitching matchups. Well, we got Oryx got a good pitcher going. They got Miyagi going. And Yokohama has a good pitcher going. So they have... Uh, what is it? Azuma pitching. Sorry, I thought it was somebody else before. 
And Hanshin's got Kotaro Ataki going against uh, Keiji Takahashi, which they don't have it out yet, because you know Hanshin's going to win that game. But anyways, our first game is Chiba Lote versus the Orox Buffaloes. So, pitching for Lote is Manubu Mima. 3-9 with a 4.74 ERA going up against Haroi. Miyagi, 10 and 4 with a 2.35 ERA. So, you guys know we're going to take Orox here, but let's go over to Hanshin game just in case I'll tell you about it. So, Hanshin has Kotaro Ataki pitching 12 and 2 with a 2.13 ERA, which, uh, you know, he's pretty good. I don't know if he's going to get their Cy Young award or who's going to get it. I got to double check that stuff, but. He's pretty good. Yaku has KG Takahashi, 4 and 9 with a 4.47 ERA. So, yeah, you guys get that. So, for this Lote and Aurox game, let's get up on it. So, we like Aurox all around here. We like a minus half a run first half. We like a money line full game. Uh, and then we like uh, over three first half. I think Aurox can. Get to Mr. Mima over there and get three. I had the under first, but you never know. Miyagi could give up one. Orox get two or three. I don't know. It seems like every time Orox has picked, uh, faced uh, Manabu Mima, he's gotten, they got in three runs. So I feel confident in that. But then I like the under of six and a half, man, for this game. I don't think... I don't think Chiba's scoring too much. I think uh, Miyagi might hold him to one run in, like, say, eight innings, seven innings, something like that. Then Orox and Bullpen should be able to finish it off. So, hopefully, that works out for us there. Next game, we got the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars versus the Yomari Giants. Pitching for Yokohama is Katsuki Azuma, 16-2 and two with a 2.03 ERA. So wait, Otaki, oh yeah, so this guy could be ahead in the Cy Young, I don't know. But he's going up against Ayori Yamasaki, 9-5 with a 2.89 ERA. Which is funny, these guys pitched against each other about a week ago and it ended. Yokohama won. Yamori, zero. I'm pretty much thinking it's going to be around the same there. I'm not seeing many runs here. So we are going with... I'm taking Yamori, first half plus half a run. Just because I think it's going to be tied. I think it could be zero zero almost. Or, I don't know, maybe a 1-1, one, one, something like that. So I'm taking that half a run pushing there we're going under three first half we're going under six full game and then i do like this yamori plus one and a half but i'm going yoka money line just to be better off there man i'm not going against uh, their pitcher right now and they're getting into postseason form ready to go they're my dark horse still if bauer wasn't hurt i'd feel a little more confident in them winning it all but I got some money on them to win it all, and I got money on NC to win it all, so let's see what happens, man, you know? But, and same thing with NC, if Kuchang wasn't hurt there, you know? Well, I don't know if he's back pitching yet, but their bats are dead right now for NC, but we will see what happens here. All right, so that is all the games we have for you tonight, so now... Let's fucking parlay this shit together. We're going to do, I guess, two parlays again. And, yeah, maybe more. I'm not sure. Uh, and there'll be, what, six leggers? So, that's what we'll do. I got a $20 bag I got to use up for the big boy tonight. So, I was hoping there's some other games on here, but I guess not. All right, guys, hold up, and I'll hook you up with these. All right, guys, here's the first one. We got ten dollars hit you five hundred here. All right, so the first one ten will catch you four ninety seven. I'm not sure if I just said that I was faking my kid. I was recording, so he'd go do his project. But if I did, I apologize. 
All right, so this is the first half. We're going under five and a half. Kia KT LG minus half a run. Hanwa Samsung over five. I better have in there. This game we can't take because it's the later Kia KT. They won't let us do it. Uh, NC SSG SSG minus half a run first half. Then we go to the NPB. Uh, let's see. We oh yeah, the innings. We got Orox minus half a run first half, and we got Yamorioka under three, and then hopefully Hanson will be out, and we'll take Hanson minus half a run, and then that will catch us like probably like six hundred or something, you know. Which would be nice, and then maybe I'd put my 20 on that, and I'd get 1200 But, anyways, this one is about 500 for 10 bucks. so hold up, and I'll bring you a full game. Hold on. Alright, guys, here's the last one. It's not that good of a payout. I've been trying to doctor it up a little bit. I mean, I guess you go here, you can get it over 400 424 but I like SSG there, man. Money line. Uh, maybe if you go SSG minus one, if you can. Game lines, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a little bit better, right? What is it? 4.45, no, it works. Let's just keep it weighted. All right, so we have here... My original pick was Kia Moneyline, but now we're going under 9.5 instead. I want to be paid, you know. Uh, LG money line. Um, uh, Hanwha Samsung over nine. SSG money line, and then so we had this a little bit different. If it loads up, I'll show you. But we fixed it up. We had Orox money line, but Minus 170 is not going to fly for us. Unless we did this. Or X minus 1. Come on, phone, dude. Or X minus 1, 120. Could do that if you want. But uh, it's the same as that. We're going to go under 6.5. Ah, screw it. I'd rather do... I'd rather do Or X minus 1. Just in case they score a lot of runs, you know. If it's the same, if you guys can do that. But I got the under anyways. And then this one, I love that under six there. Not a big deal at all. So that is perfect for me there. So if you guys can doctor it up a little bit, go right ahead. I might put that SSG minus one in there on another one, which I probably will. I'll put this one in first, and I'm going to do that. All right, guys, have a great night. Good luck. God bless you. Hopefully we win some money. I'll try to do a big boy, but I don't know how big it's going to be. Maybe I'll try to get it to like five, 600, so I could put 20 on it to make 1,200. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, guys.